how to import your Google Calendar into Notion. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at how we can import our Google Calendar onto Notion. Now, Google Calendar can be a lot of people's primary way that they are scheduling as well as setting up tasks, appointments, and much, much more. And when you have a Google Calendar, you might want to import that onto your actual Notion account because a lot of people are using that for productivity. And I have used Notion in the past and I have liked it a lot. It's really great when you're using an interface like an iPad and you have a lot of creative mind mapping as well as planning and scheduling. So Notion can be a great tool for that. However, one of the greatest limitations that everyone talks about with Notion is that Notion is very difficult to integrate. So you can see that Notion has now allowed you to create automations and connections with Google Calendar. And to do that, you can click on Calendar on the left. Once you click on Calendar on the left, you can click on Continue with Google. And you're going to continue to your Google permissions. Once you continue to your Google permissions, you're going to select the Google Calendar that you want to connect to your Notion account. So I want to connect this account over here. I will click on continue over here and I will select all. I like to give it all of the accessibility so it can easily uh, integrate and work with my calendar. From there, you're going to click on continue. And once you click on continue, you will see that your Google Calendar integration is going to work with your Notion integration. So this is something that was imported from my Google Calendar. Now, let's say that I'm on my phone and I am not using Notion and I just have a, a quick meeting or a quick lunch scheduled for the next Tuesday. So I have to add lunch with ABC, okay? And this is an event and I can add a specific time over here as well. So 1 to 2.30, let's say it's 1 to 2.30. And then after that, I am going to add a guest if I want. I can add location, descriptions, and more. And then after that, I'm just going to click on save. Now, once I do that, if I go back into my Notion calendar and refresh my Notion calendar, and I'm going to go into a monthly view, you can see my lunch with ABC will be created. So instead of having to manually import everything, you will have your calendar account linked to your Google Calendar account, and you're going to be able to sync everything together. Now, not only can you add these events over here, but when you have these events, you can work with them in Notion. So you can copy, cut, delete, add participants and use it like you normally would just use your regular old calendar on Notion. And you can use it in the Notion application as well. So if I go back into my Notion databases, I can add the calendar to my monthly plan. And once I do that, if I go back into my monthly plan on my Notion workspace, I would be able to have everything set up with my Notion calendar. Not only that, if I work on my Notion calendar over here, so let's say I add something to my Notion calendar, this is going to be an event. Let's say I have to go to a opening week like this. And then after that, if I go back into my Google Calendar, it's going to show up as an event over here. So not only is this going to sync your Google Calendar to Notion, but your Notion calendar will also be synced onto Google. Now, in the past, you had to use a lot of third-party tools, and if you want some advanced features, so if you want to enhance the capabilities, then you can still use some of those third-party tools because those connections are pretty optimized. However, it's not necessary anymore. So, for example, if I go on ahead and create a general page, okay, and I'm going to go into templates and I'm going to just build a exam study dashboard, okay? And I'll just click on add and then I'll just click on general and the template is being added. I'm just going to wait for the template to be added onto our Notion workspace. Even if it's not, you know, you can go type in slash and you can, you know, type in commands. But you have this exam study dashboard and you can see you have your calendar connected over here. And if you want to connect your calendar, what you can do is simply go into Notion, type in return. 
and you can type in space for AI, search for the calendar, and the AI is going to think it's going to build the calendar for you. And you can just integrate your Google Calendar, which is now connected. You know, it has already connected my Google Calendar. So it's telling me that you can summarize the time zone, so on and so forth. But I'm just going to remove that and I'll just remove the calendar first so we can actually re-add it. So we can even click on open in calendar to open everything in my calendar. But we're going to click on over here. I want to just customize exam week. I can add tasks over here, turn these tasks into a database. Or if I'm adding these tasks, for example, I have flashcards. Let's say I want to add a list of dates and courses I will study, for example. And I can type in the course. So let's say it's going to be a software development. Okay. And then from here, I can go on ahead, type in slash. We have a to do list. I'll just add a to do. And in software development, I have to maybe study app dev. And then I can go on ahead, type in slash, and we can search for a calendar view and we can connect it to a certain calendar date, like so. Well, so in this way, you can actually optimize your Notion calendars with Google calendars. Not only that, but you can actually go into a tool like make.com. So make.com is a really nice platform that helps you in building connections and automations. So you can go into make.com and then click on get started for free. Once you click on get started for free on make.com, you can click on Google and sign up with Google. This just makes the process really easy and simple to sign up on. Once you sign up on make.com, you can link your Google Calendar to your Notion calendar or just your Notion account. So I'm just going to proceed with the sign up over here. And once I do, I'll just click on get started. Once we click on get started, we're just going to connect both of our accounts. So our Notion and Google account need to be connected to our make.com account. This allows you to create calendar based pages and derive, you know, some automations from your calendars. We're going to click on new scenario. You're going to build it from scratch. You're going to add, you know, your first tool, which is going to be Notion and get a database. You can, you know, create a database item and we're going to create a connection. We're going to choose our connection type. This is Notion internal and you can add the integration token from Notion. And then from there, you're going to add your other module, which is going to be Google Calendar. You're just going to search for Google and then Google Calendar. And whenever a new database is created, I want to create maybe a event or get an event on Google and so on and so forth. Other automations and connections can be built. So this is how you import your Google Calendar onto Notion. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.